Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going, going we're going to go over grease pencil um, and the use of the rim effect, and the rim glow kind of effect in grease pencil. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> Here we are in grease pencil. Uh, here's the object that I made. Um, I'll show you quickly how I made this. Super easy. Um, yeah, so we'll come over here to the materials and then and we can create a new material and hit new so plus new and then the material make sure stroke is selected and fill is selected. We'll come down to fill. We'll change the color to something like this. All right, now that we have this, we'll come over to the canvas. Make sure our strength is at 100 or 1. Turn off the sensitivity. And now when we draw, it kind of auto fills in for us. So yeah, we will just kind of draw this box. Cool, now so let's go ahead and add our modifier. So in our modifier, not our modifier, our effect. In our effect, we want to come down here to rim. And then now we have a rim, but you're like, whoa, I can't see anything. Well, for starters, make sure you're in rendered mode. So hold Z and then on the wheel, come up, select rendered, or you can just come up here and select when rendered, there's wireframe and it's rendered. And then you probably can't see it because the offset needs to be where it needs to be. So now that we added a rim modifier, it looks like it's a cool little rim light going on. Uh, we can kind of show this off more by taking away the stroke and the material and now you can see it but you're like hey wait I don't want that to be shown so we'll come back into the effects and then we will mess with the X offset the Y offset until we have something that we're satisfied with but usually a rim is gonna be right on the edge like that right and we'll brighten this up a little bit We'll change the color. All right, cool. And we can change the blend mode to add to make it a lot more dramatic. So if it was like a, a kind of like a neon backlight or something, let me change the world background so it looks more cool. All right, so if it was something like that, you can change the blend mode to add, there's subtract, which is gonna take the difference. There's multiply, which is going to darken it like you would be shading. Um, and, you know, so if you wanted to give the effect, like add shading, you can do that as well. If you don't like the cartoony look, um, because it kind of looks like bread right now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can come over here to blur and then increase the blur on the X and the Y. Make sure they're even. Well, and then we'll up the samples to 16. And this basically, the more samples that you have, um, the more it's gonna run on your processor for one, but then the other is it makes it smoother. So the less samples, the less time it's going to smooth out. And yeah, so yeah, you can, if you want, just blur on the top or you can just blur on this side cool and now that we did that we can go back here uh, and we can go to add and yeah so what are the uses for this well if you want to kind of quickly add a drop shadow or quickly add um, a rim light effect to your character you can do that now if you saw my last video I don't know like my first ever I think grease pencil video where I did the Captain Nimbus um, from Rick and Morty I didn't use a rim light I just went in and uh, basically hand did the um, the shading and, and how I did that was I went to layers I added a new layer and I named it like overlay or something and I changed one well, I actually think I changed it to add and then I made sure that it was on top. And then when I did that, all I did was create a new material with fill only. 
with the color that I wanted. This is going to look really bad because I've been picking really bad colors. But yeah, and I would just draw over like this. And, and I essentially created my own light. And that's how I did it because I did it by hand. But this would allow you to... Um, to do that without having uh, to go in and manually add the lights and the drop shadows and, and stuff like this or the highlights and, and stuff like this so anyways that's why I would use it but yeah so this is one is a lot faster than the other ones but this is going to conclude our video for today I hope that helped you in some way if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below let me know another video that we should do um, yeah so if you haven't already subscribed, like this video, join the Discord so I can show off you guys this artwork and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.